Hi everyone, so welcome back to this deep motherboard course. So in this course, I'm going to teach you all about EC and ASIO chips. I'm going to teach you how to master EC and ASIO testing, how to locate it in the motherboard, how to check if EC is shorted or not, and much more. So please, if you are serious about improving your repair skills, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this one. And to be part of our family where I have over 1000 friends, you are very welcome. All links in the description. Also, you are gonna find in the description the link for a full article in my website about all what we have discussing in this video so please make sure you stay tuned and do not miss any moment if you want to maximize your chance of understanding this course let's get started we have to know first about what are ec and isio means so basically ac or embedded controller manages power button keyboard battery charging and fan this one but for the is io or super io means input output basically it manages legacy input outputs keyboard mouse temperature and voltage so understanding what these ic's do is step one they are the brain behind power sequencing and communication with the cpu if your board doesn't power on, these two chips are where you should start. Basically, in some other boards, you can just find one chip. Like this one, for example, we have just one chip that gather all chips. So if those chips are failed or just one are failed, you're gonna get no boot, no fan spins, okay? no fan spins and no charging also the battery is not charged are due to this chip in some cases why exactly i focus on these chips because many technicians jump straight to replacing the cpu or the pc head but the real cause is not the cpu or the pc head but those chips so that's why knowing how to test these chips can save time and expensive parts. So now let's go to how to test these chips. Of course, I'm going to use the multimeter. But first, I will give you some tips first. You have to do a visual check, okay? A visual check around all chip pins, both chips, okay? As I told you, sometimes you can find just one chip like this one okay one chip like this one for this chip for example if you focus here here we have a little bit corrosion here in these two pins as you can see so these two pins should be soldered again okay so you have to make sure that all pin chips are good here also in this chip you see we have here a short we have a bended pin for this chip okay we have a bended pin that's why you have to pay attention attention first to do a visual inspection about all chip pins then move on to voltage check how we check voltage basically we check the v in in the big capacitor around the chip the v in okay we check the three volt and we check the clock okay but in general when you find that three volts are present around the chip means the chip receive inputs and generate outputs i'm going to show you all this just stay tuned so first let's take a look to some motherboards for beginners in order to know first how to locate the chip so basically this kind of, of chipsets in some motherboard as i told you before you can find just one chip in some you can find two chips ec and asio 
for this one we have just one for this one we have two chip for this motherboard as you can see we have just one chip near to the bios okay near to the bios for this one we have just one chip and this one also we have just one chip here we have bios i show you many motherboards just to know about the working principle here also in this motherboard we have as you can see one chip bios in this motherboard basically we have two chipset we have the ec and the super io and we have the bios okay so you can find like this one one chip near to the bios or two chipset near to the bios in this motherboard we have the super io near to the keyboard connector do you see we have here key b keyboard connector because this chip control the keyboard connector sometimes you can find it near to the rch or the pch here we have two motherboards guys pay attention here we have two motherboards this is the first with siu removed over here we have the second siu removed because the siu are responsible for many tasks in the motherboard that's why we find it failed usually so basically guys how we check if this ic is shorted or not is good or not using of course the multimeter and by selecting the continuity option here okay if you have the, a digital multimeter that's good okay by selecting the continuity option if you focus here guys we have many ceramic capacitors around the ic so we know that the ceramic capacity around any ic is connected to the ic okay in one side and connected to the ground in the other side so if i put for example one probe here and check this ceramic capacitor do you see it is connected to the ground in this side and connected to ic in this side do you see this path here connected to the siu in one side and as you can see to the ground in the other side i can even check any capacitor here for example in this as you can see side connected to the ground and this side connected to the ic do you see this part over here okay so all ceramic capacitors around the siu are connected in one side to ground and in the other side to the siu so if i find that the ceramic capacitors are not connected to the ground in both sides like this this one here we have good this one we have this side connected to the ground this no so we don't have any short in the side so you can do the same for all capacitors as you can see one side good one side connected to the ground one side good connected to ic one side connected to the ground one side to siu one side to ground as you can see one side to siu one side to ground one side to siu one side to ground here also connected to siu this side to ground means this is good this is a good sign that this siu is not shorted okay but if you find that an ic as a serum capacitor is shorted like this means we have here a short circuit it could be the serum capacitor itself about 30 percent or the super io